a review on the Smashbox Photo Filter Powder Foundation. I was recommended this by someone that I absolutely love following on Instagram and um, I kind of know her by Jeannie. I'm going to go ahead and put her name here. Definitely go follow her. She does like reviews on Instagram and she's so good at it. I swear this woman needs to have a YouTube channel. She is amazing at her reviews. I feel like we're really spot on with each other when we like and hate products and she recommended this to me so I went ahead and got it because every product that she's recommended I've loved and we kind of always have the same opinion so yeah my shade is in the shade number three and the product itself has kind of like a it kind of looks kind of it has the mirror on the top and then it has this kind of um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that because I have been using this like crazy, but it kind of has like a little photo kind of like camera lens kind of looking thing on here. And mine is a little bit faded and then underneath here it comes with a sponge. One of the sides of the sponge is really, really silky and the other one is a high coverage kind of um, side. The other one, the silky side is for a lighter coverage, which I really don't, I'm really not fond of that side. I really like the high coverage one and I've used both sides and I really prefer the one for the um, extra coverage. So, and I have to say, I really love the sponge that it comes with and that's exactly what I use to apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the demo before I continue talking about the product so you guys can see what it looks like going on. <music> itself is worth $42. It comes with 0.34 ounces and um, what they claim is that it's an eight hour wear. It's very long wearing. It's light filter technology. It's sheer to full finish. It's non-drying, non-caking, non-settling and oil free. It comes in 10 different shades and like I said I'm in the shade number three which is light beige and I have to say I absolutely love this as a powder foundation. I love it as a setting powder. This powder is like my all time my new favorite powder and why I love it so much is because it photographs really beautifully it's actually what I have on my skin today on top of the Mac face and body I love the coverage of this using the sponge I can get a full coverage that lasts it's very long wearing I've worn it eight to nine hours all day through work it gives a full coverage or you can use the other side for more of a lighter coverage it covers your imperfection looks beautiful on it's not one of these like cakey powders it's like really almost like creamy and super like just beautiful on even if you just swatch it you can see how beautiful it looks on the finger it doesn't look like like flaky you know like how some powders can look like really really drying on your finger this one's more creamy it's super soft and silky and it feels like that going on and then it looks very beautiful on the skin I absolutely love the way this looks on the skin and then also if I want to just set my foundation I just go ahead and use a big powder brush tap it on here and just kind of do this just tap it um just press it onto my foundation and I feel like this photographs really beautifully this is what I took on my cruise with me and in the flash photography of the professional pictures I feel like it just turned out very beautiful so I really really enjoy this powder I think it's absolutely beautiful it is pretty steep it's $42 I actually got mine on I think it was HSN and I just did like payments on it you know like they have they divide it into like two or three payments and that's the way I got this so if you're ever looking for a high-end foundation or powder always check HSN and QVC a lot of times they do kind of like payment plans and I think that that's a good way of getting a product as well for cheaper not cheaper because you're still par paying the regular price but you don't feel the blow as hard you know what I mean <laughs> like you can like if you pay 20 here and then 20 here then you're not gonna feel it is like just going out and paying the $42 all at once so that is a great um, uh, alternative if you're kind of on a budget and but you really want a high-end 
product. So overall, I really love this. As far as long wearing, like I said, it is long wearing. You can get from a light all the way to a full coverage with this powder. It is very non-drying, non-cakey. I absolutely love this. And I have oily to combo skin and this lasts on me. Um, if you have dry skin and have tried this, I'd love to hear your opinion down below and share that with others. Um, but overall, I love, love, love this powder. I do think this is something that's going to be staple in my collection from now on. And like I said, I'm so thankful that she recommended this to me because I have fallen in love with this. I really wanted to try the Urban Decay Naked and she told me, you know, that one's a lot drier. It's just not as really nice as this one. So definitely try the Smashbox and love this powder so much. This is such an amazing powder. So yeah, that is my opinion on this. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. I'd love to hear your opinion on it as well. And until next time, bye guys.